Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Happy uh, Sunday morning. Had something I wanted to go over with you guys. It's uh, right here in front of me. Can't can't miss it. Um, it's the uh, the new heat sinks that are going to re be replacing the Pacific Light Concepts heat sinks that are on the PLC website. Now, since the last video, well, let me just go back. The PLC heat sinks have been in stock for a year and a half now. A uh, year and a half or a year at least at this point. Um, and they really didn't move. People were not jumping on them. People were still building with the Heatsink USA profiles. And I, I do understand the video was out with the peel, with the Heatsink USA profiles. So people, you know, without a video, people kind of just do whatever's there. And so anyway, long story short, the last video blew out finally after a year of sitting there, thousands of heat sinks in stock. Uh, the video blew them out. Fantastic. Cannot complain. It's exactly what we wanted to have happen. The issue is that with the COVID-19 situation and the global supply chain issues, as well as tariffs and everything else that go along with it, um, to restock the PLC heat sinks, they're going to have to sell at $15.99. And they are not as good of a value at $15.99 at all. Even at $12.99, um, it's pushing it a little bit. So anyway... The choice is to not restock them and look for other alternatives. You know, that's not perfect. I know there's a brand new video out there, um, but we have an alternative. We have a great alternative that actually performs better, is cheaper, is easier to work with, and more readily available. Bam, bam, it's done. Um, and what that is, is the T-Nuts tri-slotted uh, profile. So tri-slotted profile. It's this right here. It's what you see here, but it can be gotten in any length. Um, so as you can see, it's called tri-slotted because there's three slots. There's one, two, three slots. And on the fourth side where there is no slot, it's perfectly flat. It's one inch wide, perfectly flat, and fits the PLC PCBs for the photo boost. Absolutely perfect. So, logical choice. Um, we've actually known about these for a little bit and have been meaning to test them and get them into, uh, you know, put some test units together with them. And as we started to run out of PLC heat sinks, that's exactly what we did, started to test these. And they perform fantastic. By fantastic, I mean better than the Pacific Light Concepts heat sinks. At maximum current, they're five degrees C cooler. Uh, across the entire heat sink on every diode from the reds to the uh, to the white Samsungs as well. And at 1400 and below, they're performing a touch better around 7 degrees C, better performance than the PLC heat sinks. So they perform better. That's great. What about price? Guess what, guys? They are cheaper. This 46-inch heat sink, to, so to get the same size heat sink as the PLC, 46 inches, is $9.70. That's compared to $12. And we had them on sale for $12. PLC wasn't making any money at $12. I don't know how much money T-Nuts is making, but it's regardless. Long story short, everyone's happy. It's cheaper for you guys, more readily available for you guys, performs better for you guys. T-Nuts is doing a little business and we're able to sell strips to do it. So it performs better. It's cheaper. And on top of that, it is easier to work with. When we did the PLC build with the heat sinks, there was a little bit of movement on the on the heat sinks because there was one pivot point, a um, couple other weak spots in the design. Not not horrible, but if we could, you know, tighten them up a little bit, we would. And using these T-Nuts profiles as heat sinks allows us to do that. And you can see it right here. This is a this is just a little build, but it doesn't matter if these are these are two foot heat sinks, but it could be four foot heat sinks. It's going to be the same design with a spine, but now instead of a screw up the center that we were using with the PLC heat sinks, we now have two physical locking points here with these corner brackets. So when you guys go on to pacificlightconcepts.com, the parts list has been completely strip build with this design. And so it's gonna tell you to get 16 of these corner brackets along with all the hardware to go along with it here to slide it in the T-nuts. What this allows is no more turning of the heat sinks. It's now a secure, very strong, rigid build. Um, while doing this also, 
were able to drop down to. So on the on the PLC heat sinks, we had to use a three wide spine so that you could mount it in the bigger flat surface with the tip. Now with the corner to do a two profile spine, one. I think it's a little wider spine, but you can just use a single profile as the spine across it and it's gonna work fine. Gonna hang, no problems asked. And like I said, so much more rigid and secure. Other than this change from the, essentially the only change we did is we now use these heat sinks and instead of one screw up the center, you're out now using two corner brackets on the spine. And I'll just give you a little hint. You could get away with one. I suggest two, but you can get away with one. It's plenty strong enough. Um, that is the only difference in design from the PLC reference design that is online right now today. Um, That's it. The wiring's the same. The components are the same. Other than the frame, absolutely the same. But anyway, since the PLC heat sinks are out of stock and we're telling people, hey, check out these tri-slotted profiles here. Um, check these out. Go go get them and use them. People are like, oh, that doesn't really look like a heat sink. And I get that. It doesn't look like your classic finned heat sink. But what is the point of a heat sink and what is a heat sink? It's able to pull heat away from the LEDs to a point where then it can be dissipated into the air and the environment. That is what these do, and they do it better than what is specifically designed as a heat sink. Um, they're doing it by thermal mass and surface area, but uh, it really is an easy peasy win. Now, like I said, I just want to get on here, show you guys this design, because a lot of people didn't really understand what these corner brackets are for, how to attach them, this, that. Uh, you can do anything. I suggest... Oops. I suggest the spine build. It hangs the best. It's the easiest to do, but you could also take single bars and put them out at the ends as well as in line at the ends. There's lots of design options, but when it comes to the 16 strip build and the more the four foot wide ones, a spine is a lot easier to wire because on my last video, I showed you guys how to do parallel series wires with all your wiring right up the center here. Well, if we put spines on the end, it's harder to run the wiring as if we have this, we can run the wiring straight down the spine really clean and easy. So that is about it. Other than that, there's no change to the wiring. There's no change to the driver recommendation, the strips, still recommending 0.75 to one strip per square foot based on your intensity, uh, constant current wiring if you can, this, that. The nice thing about um, these T-Nuts profiles, you can see I have an anodized aluminum version here silver cool clean whatever but i will be doing a 16 strip build just because i know everyone wants it spelled out and they want to be dragged to the water to drink you guys want the, the 16 strip build done all over again with the, with the peel with the t-nets sinks that's fine i'm gonna do it but i wanted to give you this cheat sheet here um, but when i do do it i'm gonna be doing it in black now you can get these profiles in silver and you can get the same exact profile in black it's about 20 it's more expensive to do it in black, but it's cooler too. So if you want to have a black stallion or a dark knight build, you can do it. Just going to cost you about 20 bucks more on the whole thing. No big deal. Um, performance wise, cooling, absolutely the same. Uh, so minimal. I cannot get it with my FLIR. I cannot get the differences with my FLIR camera most of the time. So um, performance is there and it can be done in black. So black spot or black heat sinks. Black spine, black corner brackets, as well as black hardware. This this build that I will do, my 16 strip Dark Knight build, will be 100% black fixture. It's going to be sweet. Now that is, again, only for cool factor. Has nothing to do with performance. Has nothing to do with any of that. It's just they can be gotten in black. Everyone does stuff in silver anodized. Let's, let's do it in black. Let's be cool kids. So that's what we're going to do. Um, but I wanted, like I said, I really just wanted to show you guys, hey, this is how you're, oops, sorry for the, for the mic bump there. This is how you're building with these uh, T-nuts extrusions, these tri-slotted 10 series extrusions. This is how you build with them. This is how you use the corner brackets and attach the heat sinks. Now, again, does not matter. This is a two foot heat sink here. These heat sinks can be four foot. These heat sinks can be six foot. They can be three foot. They can be whatever you really want. 
Um, but if you're building with photo boost strips, obviously they're 22 inches long. So you got to work and work as that as a factor. But if you're stringing up, if you wanted to take this frame and put individual stars on here and wire up monos or whatever you might want to do, this frame isn't applicable to just PLC strips and whatever. If you wanted to do strip builds with Samsung's or Bridgelux or, or whatever, this frame system is going to work. So you can get this all at T-Nuts. You can get the hardware. Uh, you get the corner brackets, the hardware to go along with the corner brackets. You can either buy that separate or with them. Uh, you then buy the extrusions, both for the heat, heat sinks, which are um, tri-slotted 10 series. And the frame is a one by two 10 series or a one by one 10 series. You can really do whatever you want for the frame. Um, but there's a lot of options when it comes to ordering them. All you need to do is pick the length. Don't worry about a fractional length. Fractional length means if you wanted 45 and a half, you put 45 in the length and half in the fractional and you get 45 and a half. But no need. You want 45 inches, get 45 inches. That's all you have to do. No other machining or tabs or end holes. You don't, you don't need any of that. Just put 45 and you're done. Um, with that said, the PLC heat sinks were 46 inches long. You can get these in 46 and just match them. But if you buy these in 46 inches long, the full fixture comes out to around two, anywhere, depending on what spine you use, uh, two and three quarters to almost four pounds heavier. It's not much. It's still under 30 pounds for the full fixture. But just know it is a little heavier. So to combat that, you can get your four foot heat sinks, I say four foot, in 45 inches, and they will still fit two strips perform better than the PLC heatsink and save just a little bit of weight. So recommending 45 inches and uh, 24 inches for the short guys. So you have the cooling and the, and the, the, the width there. Um, but if you're doing a four foot, quote unquote, four foot build or a you know big thousand watt comparable, I would suggest 45 inch heat sinks or 45 inch profiles. Just save, save a pound or so um, and good to go after that. Yes, and you can also order with plastic end caps. Someone just put that in the comment, Dave Ryan. Uh, they have these little end caps. It's just a plastic piece, and then there's a little like uh, wedge screw that kind of wedges itself into this hole in the center. They're not the most secure, but they look okay. Um, you can get them in red. You can get them in yellow, blue, whatever, black, um, and do that. I'm going to try and work with someone on a pre 3D printer to do some custom end caps for them. Um, and some things. And if you guys have a 3D printer, you can always make your own custom end caps. But I want to make an end cap. So this is this is talking for the future here. But I want to make an end cap that goes over this and then clamps down on the board a little bit so that instead of so we can mount with um, thermal tape, but then we can cap the ends down with uh, an end cap. So the end cap will actually hold the PCB down and possibly have one in middle that kind of basically comes around and claws the side of the uh, the PCBs there, I think that would work very, very well. Um, so that would help to secure the PCBs over time because I have some thermal tape that I've had up for years, absolute years running, no issues whatsoever. Uh, but I bought some new stuff a couple weeks ago and it's not, as, it's not as sticky, it's coming off. I'm not too happy with it. It is a different brand, but um, nonetheless, I'm not super stoked with it. And I didn't quite give it its uh, its set time, and, and there's some issues with it. But nonetheless, I know I didn't take my full time to do it properly. I know a lot of you guys out there aren't going to do it exactly how the, how the directions recommend, so you may run into these issues. So I want to do something with this kind of like uh, end cap PCB holder clamp. Um, it, like I say, if it goes around the back, if it's a full kind of like basically like this around the back and then just kind of how my fingers are here holding, not on the diodes, but holds on the PC. Three little. Oh, sorry, connections rolling. But anyway, it would be three little printed pieces there per heat sink. I, th I think we could do it. I don't know what the cost on those is going to be. And I may have to go to an injection molder versus a 3D printer. But that's kind of the idea to make this. We're trying to work with T-Nuts here to make a kit, that, that is the goal. Without us happening to stock heat sinks, we can now put that money into drivers for you guys or put it into uh, just in general wiring, Wagos, the whole deal. So the idea is that you can stop here, you can get all the electronic components from Civic Light Concepts, and then you can then get all the structural components to make your frames and all that good jazz from TNET. So you got two places to click and deliver from. It's not perfect, I know you all want the one-stop shop um, and maybe that'll happen. You know, there is a chance we can just order it all from T-Nuts from you guys and have a process like that. Um, 
but regardless, that's kind of where we're trying to get to with this. And working with T-Nuts is, is great. You can go to a place like Irving Engineering is a they also called like ledhousings.com or something. It's they're a Chinese company. They're a they're a Chinese uh, LED fixture manufacturer. They don't manufacture fixtures, but they manufacture heat sinks. So like to build this, have this all done, they, they make some heat sinks. Good. Uh, Green Grow Show's got one going. A couple other people. They, they look cool. They look cool. They look like a nice little fixture. Um, but the performance needs to be tested. So there's a lot of options. But the idea is that we can get you something from T-Nuts here that's rigid, secure, good American built, uh, kind of an American made looking light here, as well as all the proper electronics to go along with that. Um, which will, like I say, allow us a little bit of capital to bring in things like drivers because drivers are extremely expensive. If we wanted to bring you the best drivers we could, we'd get the Autech 680 watt drivers for you guys. You Got to buy them by a thousand. You know, they're over a hundred dollars a piece. It's a $10,000 investment just to sit here and have drivers sitting here, let alone all the strips, heat sinks, uh, connectors. I'm working on the quick connectors for you guys. Cause those, those are in my video that, uh, they're basically impossible to find any kind of, uh, field field terminal quick connect so i have those things coming for you guys so instead of just using basic wire glands this gland will now be like a quick connect where you got wire here wire here and you just turn and twist and it's done they're connected so we'll have those coming from you guys i got those coming from china but they're ltt connectors what yeah it's buffering is shitty i honestly guys you can bitch and complain about the stream all i all you want go for it i really could care two shits at this point i'm telling you the information take it for what it's worth or you're not going to get it anywhere else so that is what it is. But that's the idea. And if we do that, I think it'll be, uh, again, more accessible, easier to build. And I, I just know from who I've already got to build these frames. I've built them for a couple customers. I'm going to be using it myself. This heat sink is killer. Um, once it's hung, you don't notice the extra two pounds. It, two pounds on 27 pounds is very minimal addition. And it's it's just perfect. Um, I'm really excited to build it in black. I know that's going to be going to be killer. But uh, oh here, let me make that fucking easy on you, dude. I'll just remove you. Not in a good mood, buddy. How about you just shut the fuck up? Yeah. Oh. So. That's the idea. So if you're out there, you're looking for it, you need, uh, you're, you're looking at the new PLC list and saying, what are these corner brackets for? What are these profiles he's saying to use as heat sinks? Those don't look like heat sinks. Yes, they are, guys. These 10 series extrusions, whether they're in black or they're in silver with the flat side, will fit two boards on it perfectly. You can go back to the last video to see how to wire that in series parallel if you want to go that route. Um, and again, they cool better, they're cheaper, they're easily access, more easily accessible, as well as much easier to work with building your frames. So um, get at it, guys. That's it. Uh, I have them. If you go to PacificLightConcepts.com, you go to the PLC heatsink, you know, thing. Um, the PLC heatsink webpage. It says these have been discontinued, but here is the perfect alternative. It shows some flare data of them cooling back together so that I can build this 16 strip light. I, I don't get strips till the next strip. So just like you have strips, you don't have strips. So don't worry. Um, I got to wait for new strips to come in, build this light. I got some plants right behind me germinating. So the garden and the room will be, uh, will be up and running shortly. So that is what I, I got to go in. Again, one more time, using the T-Nuts 10 series tri-slotted extrusions as heat sinks, a one by two system as a spine, and then the standard corner bracket, T-slot corner brackets for the 10 series as connecting. I have two connect two connecting each heat sink here to the spine. Um, like I said, you could get away with one if you really wanted to skimp out on some cost, but... Uh, Recommend two per side, and it is the most secure solid unit you will ever build in your life. Promise you that. That thing could drop from 50 feet, and it ain't going to break. Ain't going to break, ain't going to dislodge, ain't going to loosen. So, dislodge, ain't going to loosen. So, get after it, get some builds at, throw me a DM in at uh, instant. I don't answer it really quickly as best I can. So, anyway, ask me if you guys don't. 
them down in the comments. I'll get to them or email uh, Pacific Light Concepts. You can email uh, sales at Pacific Light Concepts and they will figure it out for you guys. So peace, guys.